hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing hair growth oil for a faster hair growth if you're new to my channel hi welcome in this channel I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're interested you know what to do. Grab a seat and let's get into it. The first ingredient you're going to need to make this hair growth oil for faster hair growth is avocado. So avocado is amazing for your hair. So I went ahead and cut the avocado into two parts. Then I scrape it out and transfer it to my blender. Avocado moisturize your hair and scalp. It's at shine to your hair. It's amazing at treating damaged hair. The next ingredient we're going to be using for today, hair growth oil, is fresh aloe vera. So I went ahead and cut the aloe vera into small pieces. Once I'm done cutting the aloe vera, I went ahead and added it to the blender. Aloe vera is one of the best natural ingredients for hair growth. Aloe vera is amazing for your hair and your scalp. It treats hair loss, it stimulates hair growth, it adds shine to your hair, and it's amazing at moisturizing your hair as well. Once I'm done adding all the ingredients, I went ahead and blend. Make sure to blend all the ingredients very well. After blending this is how it looks like I went ahead and transfer it to a pot I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of fenugreek seed I love fenugreek seed I literally add fenugreek seed in all my DIY why because fenugreek seed is so effective when it comes to hair growth Fenugreek helps to moisturize your hair and scalp, it stimulates hair growth and it's amazing at treating hair loss as well. I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of olive oil. Also going to be adding one cup of almond oil as well. So you can add any oil of your choice. So basically just add whatever that works for your hair type. So don't feel the need to use the same oil that I'm using. As I said before, use whatever that works for your hair type. Once I'm done adding my chosen oil, I went ahead and mix all the ingredients together. After mixing, I transferred the pot to the cooker. I'm going to allow the oil to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure the cooker is on the lowest heat. You want to slowly cook the oil because you don't want to destroy all the benefits and the nutrients in the oil. And the reason why I'm not doing the double boiler method is because we added aloe vera because aloe vera contain water so that's the reason why we are going to be frying the oil today because we don't want our oil to contain water i would suggest you should do this method if you want your oil to last for a very long time so if you do this method the oil is going to last you for about four to six months so this is how the oil looks like after 20 minutes. I turn off the cooker. I allow it to cool down for a few minutes. After cooling down, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and strained the oil out. So guys, make sure the oil is completely cooled down before straining it out, okay? Because I don't want you guys to burn your fingers. So always make sure your oil is completely cooled down. So 
So once you finish straining your oil, do not throw this away. You can use it for deep treatment, okay? So basically what you need to do is just add it to your blender. Once you finish blending it, go ahead and strain it out. Once you're done straining it out, then you can just apply it to your hair as a deep treatment. This is what the oil looks like once I'm done straining the oil out. I went ahead and transferred it to my applicator bottle for easy use. Now your oil is ready to be used. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use this oil for faster hair growth and healthy hair. I'm also going to explain different ways in which you can use this oil for healthy hair growth. So I'm going to be applying this oil to a scalp as a leave-in because a scalp is extremely dry right now. I love applying oil to the scalp because it really helps to treat your scalp if you have scalp dryness, itchy scalp, flaky scalp, Basically, if you have any scalp issues that is stopping your hair from growing. So when it comes to applying oil to your scalp is extremely important. I know some of you guys don't like applying oil to your scalp because you think oil clog up the pores, but it doesn't. Okay. I apply oil on a daily basis on my kids hair. So oil will not moisturize your hair, but when it comes to treating your scalp and helping your hair to grow, it works amazing. As I mentioned before, I apply oil on my kids hair on a daily basis. As you guys can see, my kids hair are growing beautiful, okay? And um, I usually wash their hair every two weeks. So I went ahead and applied the oil to the entire scalp. Then I massage it in as this helps to stimulate blood circulation, which can promote healthy growth. You can also use this oil as a hot oil treatment as well. So what you want to do is make sure the oil is hot. This is the reason why it's called hot oil treatment. So make sure the oil is not too hot because you don't want it to burn your scalp. Then you want to apply the oil to your entire scalp and your hair strand as this helps to strengthen your hair as well. Then you want to cover your hair with a shower cap. Allow it to sit for about one hour and 45 minutes. After one hour and 45 minutes, then you can go ahead and proceed with your wash day. So just a quick reminder, guys, do not use microwave to warm your oil, okay? It will only destroy all the amazing benefits that contain in this amazing oil. So do not use microwave. Always use double boiler method to warm your oil up. Do not use microwave. You can add some of this oil to your deep treatment, your conditioner, or your shampoo as well. You can apply this oil to your hair like the way I'm using it in today's video. This is the best way to use this oil to maximize hair growth and to get all the amazing benefits that contain in the oil. You can also use this oil if you have problems areas such as your edges, your crown section, and the back of your hair. So if you're going to be using this oil as a leave-in, so what you want to do is leave it in your hair, then you can wash it out on your wash day. And if you're going to wash this oil out, then that means you want to use it as a hot oil treatment, or you can also add it to your deep treatment, as I mentioned before. But if you're going to be using it like the way I'm using it in today's video, do not wash it out again, do not wash it out. I'm repeating myself because I know some of you guys are going to ask me the same question again do i need to wash it out should i wash it out so that's the reason why i'm repeating myself do not wash it out if you're going to be applying it to your scalp as a leave-in but if you want to wash it out use it as a hot oil treatment allow it to sit in your hair for about one hour and 45 minutes cover your hair after one hour and 45 minutes then you can proceed with your wash day. So once I'm done applying the oil to the entire scalp, I also apply the oil to the entire hair as well. This oil will help to strengthen your hair and stop hair breakage as well. You can use this oil twice a week or you can use it as often as you need it. 
so guys don't forget applying oil to your scalp does not clog up your pores okay it helps to treat your scalp if you have any scalp issues that's stopping your hair from growing if you wash your hair often applying oil to your scalp is not going to clog up your pores okay so don't worry about that applying oil to your scalp will only benefit you so guys we have come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for your support so you guys have been asking me to make my own product so my own product will be available for you guys to purchase very soon so once everything is ready i'm going to definitely let you guys know where you can purchase my product online so guys thank you guys so much for watching and um i will catch you guys on sunday thank you guys bye